Hello, welcome to my Rise of Life YouTube channel. I wanted to share with you why I became a vegan. I know many people, and I'm sure you've heard many people are becoming vegans, and we very seldom get a chance to hear the details behind people's reasons for becoming a vegan. And I'm going to share with you mine at a later date. I'm going to get more involved in the benefits of being a vegan and why some of the reasons people become vegans. So for me, my journey kind of got started in 2004, June to be exact. I was diagnosed with a mixed connective tissue disease. Thank God it's very mild. But in the beginning, it was very, very scary because I had three days to live before I finally got a proper diagnosis and I kind of prayed and prayed and prayed for a long time, at least two or three years. I prayed and asked God to help me, help myself, show me what is my role because I know when it comes to healing, we have a responsibility to ourselves a role that we must play in helping to bring healing or you know total restoration or just to bring improvement to be able to manage health issues that we face at some particular point in life so after praying and crying I'm like oh, God please help me show me what my role is I promise I'll do everything I have to do just show me what I'm supposed to do and I remember one day in my kitchen, I heard the word gluten, get rid of gluten. I ignored it, and a few minutes later, I heard the word vegetarian. Now that, uh-uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I said, nope, I know this is not God talking to me, telling me to become a vegetarian. I like chicken, and I like turkey. And there is no way I was willing to believe that I had to give that up. So five years after being diagnosed with this condition, my husband found me a holistic slash medical doctor who was in Chicago. We went to go see him. He had run all kind of tests on me, blood tests and different kind of tests. It was a lot he had done. So I went back probably a week or two later to get my results. Sat down and he said, okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to give up gluten. You gotta become gluten free. And I want you to become a vegetarian. Now, who told me that first? Okay? So this is the thing I want to point out. Don't pray and ask God to help you with anything, especially when you're asking what is your role, like I did. And then you don't want to listen. You don't want to follow his advice because I was hard-headed. I didn't want to believe it. I'm like, no, but then once I heard it in the natural, I had no more excuses. I had to follow the advice of the doctor. And even then, it was hard, okay? So that was in 2009. Here I am approaching nearly 10 years, and I have not been following a vegan diet for 10 years. I am not even going to pretend like I've been doing it for half of the years. It was a struggle. It was hard. I cried for months when the doctor told me that. And I remember calling him, asking him, you know, do I have to do this for the rest of my life? And he said, well, I can't say that, but because your body has a hard time breaking down animal protein, I don't see you having a new body, so you probably will have to do this for the rest of your life. And the only thing he did say was, you know, you may be a little lenient, with being able to eat chicken or turkey or fish at times because those are kind of not so bad, he said, but I would lean more toward maybe doing salmon every now and then because that's an anti-inflammatory food and the condition that I was diagnosed with is an inflammatory condition, so it would make sense to follow an anti-inflammatory diet. But he said, I would prefer you to stay away from animal products because it can just tire me, just, you know, uh, break me down because it takes my body so much to process animal protein. So I said, okay. But then it gets to the point, it's like, you know, you really don't even want to eat 
the salmon because of what they're doing to the waters. And then the pesticides that they're spraying in the ground, it's like, please just leave the food alone. Just let the food be what it is because it's nothing like it used to be when our grandparents were alive or even our great grandparents. So I became a vegan because of my health. Because the holistic doctor slash medical doctor told me that I have the physiology of a giraffe. And we know what giraffes eat. They are vegetarian. They're not walking around eating meat. So he also told me out of all of the diets that I recommend, this one is the hardest. Because I have to give up gluten as well. And gluten was in just about everything that I ate. So I have gotten much, much, much better over the years. Um, nothing I eat really makes me sick. The big thing is to just stay away from foods that causes inflammation in the body because inflammatory derived foods can pretty much wreak havoc in the body. And having chronic inflammation opens the doors to other diseases. So pretty much my story behind becoming a vegan is for health reasons. And I know some people have passion and compassion for the earth and for animals. And again, I'll get into that later because there are many benefits to becoming a vegan. That's just my story. This is strictly for my health because now that I'm approaching 50, I cannot afford to play with my life, which means I cannot afford to play with my health. I am constantly educating myself on how to improve the quality of my life. And I know it starts with food. So if you're thinking about becoming a vegan, if you have just become a vegan and you're kind of struggling, don't worry about it. Hang in there. Do what you got to do for your health. Do what you got to do for your life because the quality of your life greatly depends upon what you feed your body and how well of a healthy lifestyle that you live. Because the older we get, age in itself kind of opens the door for other problems just because of age and some things we cannot fight because we're getting older but what we want to do is fight the good fight and doing what we can to protect our health so that is my story i hope it touched you in some kind of way and hopefully it inspired you so like this video subscribe come back for more because we've got more to discuss god bless you